The story you're about to hear is true. It is a tale so gripping, so astounding, that it will shock you to your very core. So for the more sensitive members listening to this broadcast, please do so with caution. The place, City Hall, Los Angeles, California. The time. Now, the newly elected mayor greets several foreign diplomats who've come to this great country with a message of peace and unity. Mayor Cruz, may I present to you Ambassador Olaf, Ambassador Tung, and Ambassador Sanchez. Konnichiwa and salutations, gentlemen. Welcome to Los Angeles. It is an honor and a privilege to receive you. Thank you for having us, Mr. Cruz. Mr. Cruz is too formal. Please, call me Mr. Mayor. (laughs) Would anyone care for a cocktail? Assistant. Yes, sir. Your mission is to get these men whatever they want. Do you understand me? A club soda, a gin and tonic, whatever the task, you will see it through to the end. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we crystal clear? Yes. I believe in you. Ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake about what you are witnessing. This is exactly what it looks like. From here on out, we are in charge. Now let's take it easy, okay? There are women and children here. I'm aware. That's why we chose this venue. What is it you want? Money? You want us to show you the money? Show you the money? Is that it? Is that what you want? You want us to show you the money? Why, yes, actually. Lots and lots of money. Now, if you'd be so kind as to take out your phone and dial a number for me. I've commanded a multi-billion dollar action franchise for the last three decades without losing a single step. I don't take orders from terrorists. Oh, really? Perhaps I misled you with my initial cordialness. Let me try it again. Take out your phone and dial 911. Or else I will shoot you as well as everyone else in this room. Do you understand? You're making a mistake, my friend. 911, Mr. Mayor. Dial it now. This is a Channel 8 Breaking News exclusive. This just in, City Hall is under siege as a group of unknown terrorists have taken the entire top floor captive. We've just been told that there are over a dozen hostages. Among them are Mayor Tom Cruise as well as several foreign diplomats all in town for a summit peace meeting tomorrow. There's still no official word yet from inside. All we can do right now is hope and pray. God damn it, I didn't sign up for this shit. Duh! Sir, where the hell is my hostage negotiator? I, uh... Put the call in, damn it! This ain't no goddamn dog and pony show! Yes, sir. Central, uh, this is Doyle. Do you copy? This is Central. Go for Doyle. Yeah, we're knee-deep in a 1043. Lieutenant wants to know the 20 on our negotiator. Copy that. Negotiator is en route. What in the hell is that? Son of a bitch is here! Who? Slater! What the hell are you doing in here, Jack? This is a cold investigation! I heard you needed a negotiator. I came to offer my services. On a cold day in hell! God damn it, Jack, you need to sit this one out and wait for the real negotiator! You hear me? Yeah, sure, but hang on for just a second. I'm going to need to borrow your bullhorn. Last time you did something like this, you blew up half a city block with the sewage line! It was raining shit for days! Now I'm telling you, put down that damn horn now! Trust me. Hello up there. How's it going? Look, I know this is a long shot, but is there any way I could convince you all to just surrender now to come out peacefully? Screw you, Slater! Holy shit! I knew they'd do that. I'm going to take that as a no. Any other broad ideas? Uh, sir? It's them. I, I, I got them on the line. Uh, they, they want to speak with you. Well, give me that. They want to speak with Slater. Son of a damn it! I love you too, Lieutenant. Let me see that. Hello? Who am I speaking with? My name is Jack Slater. I'm with the LAPD. Who are you? Who I am is of no importance, but knowing and accepting that I am in charge is... Are we clear about that, Mr. Slater? Absolutely, you're in charge. I want my brothers in arm a part of an ever-growing global organization dedicated to the liberation and tyranny of depression from all forms of totalitarian governments and the hypocrisies they implore on their people. Aha, uh-huh. tyrannical oppression, got it. 
But in short, this is nothing more than a simple business transaction. We want money, Mr. Slater, plain and simple. The grand sum of 250 million dollars to be exact. 250 million? 250 million dollars, Mr. Slater, not a cent less. That's a lot of money, my friend. I'm well aware. But mind you, the clock is ticking. If we do not receive our money within the hour, we will begin executing one hostage for every minute our payment is late, do you understand? Oh, I do. Listen, I can get you your money, but on one condition. You are in no position to bargain! Actually, I am. You want your money, you do me a small favor. And what favor might that be? I want proof of life. Let me come in, unarmed. I take a look at the hostages to make sure everyone's okay, then I go and get you your money. Does that work? Very well. Here, hold my gun for me. Oh no, you're not going in! Are you out of your damn mind?! Don't worry. I'll be back. Don't make any sudden moves! Put your hands up. Search him. Are you guys here for the swap meet too? Shut up! He's clean. Send him up! Ah, Mr. Slater, I presume. That's me. As you can see, everyone is still alive. I trust this qualifies as proof of life, yes? Oh yeah, this is just great. Mr. Mayor, how are you? I'm a little tied up right now, Jack. Other than that, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine! Enough! Everyone is alive, so why are you still standing here? Kinda jumpy, aren't we? Get me my money, Mr. Slater! Look, I don't want to tell you how to do things, but maybe it would be best if you guys just all gave up right now before someone gets hurt. Well, if this is your idea of stalling, you can play that game. Come here! I wouldn't do that. I'm going to give you to the count of three, Mr. Slater, to turn around and leave so that you can get us our money. I could, but I really think it'd be best if you just get yourselves up. One. Last chance, guys. Two. You're making a big mistake. Three. Right. Okay, amigo, you win. I can get your money right now. I just have to make a phone call to the governor. Simple as that. Is that cool? Then make the call. You got it. I'm just gonna get my phone out. Slowly. Of course. Well? Shh, it's ringing. Hello, Mr. Governor. How are you? Yeah, it's Jack. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah, I see. Well, sure thing. The governor wishes to speak with you. Very well, give it to me. Of course. Hello? Hello? I, I, I hear nothing. Did you hang up? Oh, that's because it's on mute. Just push the button up top. Where? I, I, right I, I, up I, there. I don't, I don't. See it? Th this, this one? Your finger's right on it. Yeah? Yes. Ah. <laughs> ah! My eyes! I can't see! The old explosive cell phone trick gets him every time. Kill him! Larry Money! Get down! Ah! Hey, can I borrow your gun? Slater! You're dead! I know you are, but what am I? Negotiations are over. You saved us, Slater. You're a true hero. Just doing my job. Well, you can be my wingman anytime. And hey, if you ever find yourself shirtless on a beach in San Diego and you're looking for a pickup game of volleyball, I'm there in a heartbeat. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs>